Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be talking about some leaks for Episode 18, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some big leaks that came out yesterday, and, you know, I thought, you know, I have to talk about this because some massive stuff goes down, and... I don't think it's like such a big spoiler because they were sort of leading to this the whole season. But anyway, so it seems like this is actually from episode 18. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty damn sure it's from 18 as far as I know. And so these leaked photos come from various sources. Number one, we have Hollywood North Buzz, aka YVR Shoots. So they'll be in the description below. Check out their Twitter. Also, their mascara bound on Twitter. And additionally, BD as well on Twitter. So all their links will be in the description below. And obviously go check them out because these are their photos they were on the set they were camping out they got these photos for us and i really appreciate it so anyway first off we're going to talk about the photos from themiscira bound and so the photos are obviously quite spoilery but like i said i think it's fine so the last scene of the night they were shooting i think it was last night so basically what happened was we see the destruction of a very familiar place to us since the beginning of season one it's the DEO. So the DEO has been destroyed. You can see right here in Themyscira Bound's photo, you can see Jesse Raff as Brainy. He's there. He's sort of crouching on what would be the rubble of, you know, the DEO, the building. And you get to see, you know, the sign on the ground, the rubble all over it. And there's various photos like that as they're shooting this scene. And so, you know, the DEO has been destroyed. And what could be the reason for this? Obviously, you know, you got Brainy here, and Brainy's been a bit suspicious recently, so a theory that I've been told and that has been going around a bit is that perhaps Brainy is still working with Lex, or due to the limo in this photo right here, could he be working with Leviathan? So what's going on right here? I think there is lots of ways that could be theorised about, you know, as in regards to why Brainy's at this situation. We know he was on set. But also, at the same time, we had two other characters, Supergirl and Dreamer. We'll get to those photos in a minute. They were on set, but I don't believe they were actually filming together. And Brainy was separate, and he did this other scene, Jesse did, when he walked into his limo. Who do we remember went into a limo with Leviathan? That was a crater earlier in the season, and so that was a big thing. And, you know, I feel like Lex is the type of person to go in a limo as well. So, I mean, it could be either or, but it seems like Brainy is up to something shady and maybe he has something to do with the destruction of the DEO. Also on the set at the same time, I'm not sure if it was later or before, we had Alex. So we had Kyla on set as Alex and she was filming some stuff. Then Mascara Bound got a photo, which I find kind of interesting. It's just Alex, but she's got some sort of watch on. I don't think it's Supergirl's watch. It kind of looks a bit bigger than that. However, you know, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like similar to a Supergirl suit when you click it, like the suit goes over or something like that. I'm not sure. However, you know, it's some sort of warning watch or, you know, some sort of device that she's going to use. And yeah, it's kind of intriguing. Do you guys have any theories on that? I don't think we can theorize too much about that as of right now because it's very, very vague from these photos. And so we've got some more photos of some of the other cast members like Supergirl, Dreamer and Brainy. So Brainy was actually on set with them for a bit of the time but I believe he actually goes off by himself once those two obviously deal with what's happening in this sort of crime scene. You know you can see the caution tape around so shit's hit the fan, the DEO has been destroyed, all the heroes are called in to help. But yeah I still think something shady is going on with Brainy in these photos. You know not specifically this one but some of the other ones. Anyway so yeah Supergirl's there with Nia they're all looking cool, they're talking to each other. Obviously Neo and Brainy were next to each other. I don't know if they're back together or something like that. But, you know, it's kind of intriguing to see them around each other a bit more. But they don't seem to be interacting much, so maybe, you know, there is no connection there anymore still. Anyway, we go over to YVR Shoots, Hollywood North Buzz. And we got a close-up photo of the DEO and the rubble going over the sign. So, you can definitely see it's been destroyed. The rubble's here, kind of shocking, right? Because we've been with the DEO for so long. But like I said, I felt like we've kind of led up to this due to the fact that, you know, this season Lex has taken over. They've got a new headquarters at John's place. So it kind of makes sense. Like, what's the point in half of them being at the DEO 
when you know it's not really going to be a big thing going forward as far as we know then we move on to some more photos from my vr shoots found this very interesting i don't know if this is just the color or the situation but melissa's hair is really dark here seems to be getting quite dark however this could just be the photo and the way it's lit because you know she does look a lot blonder in some of the other photos but i just found it kind of interesting and I don't know, I feel like it would be cool to have like a brown haired Supergirl, just for a change. I just think it would be cool. It's Melissa's normal hair, obviously it's not traditionally Supergirl, you know, she, traditionally Supergirl is blonde, that's why her hair is blonde, why Melissa dyes her hair blonde. However, I kind of like this. I don't know. I feel like it would be cool and a different thing to go down. Let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below. But anyway, so this is between takes, the sort of dancing, talking together, having a bit of fun. Melissa and Nicole and yeah so they're at the scene where you know the destruction has happened and so now we go over to BD's Twitter where they posted a bunch of stuff and we've used them a few times as a source recently and they have some really really good photos and very very good content and so the first photo we want to break down is this photo again same place this is kind of near where the destruction has gone on as far as I know it seems like it's a little bit earlier in the day and it's kind of strange because yeah none of the main cast are right there actually at this point however the photo that you see is very strange because all the background actors are wearing the national team gear at an olympic event so it seems like this could be some sort of alternate reality to do with obsidian bd suggested on twitter and i'm very curious because why would they be dressed up in this sort of very kind of Canadian way, you know, going to the Olympics, like the, if it was the, like the Winter Olympics or something like that. So yeah, it's very curious to see why they're there, but you know, they're pretending like it's the USA. You can see someone's shirt says like Team USA or something like that. And you know, you got people from all these different countries, I guess, because it's supposed to be sort of like the Olympics. So maybe the Olympics is going on in the show. I don't know. But it could be, you know, manipulation due to the fact that, you know, we've got Obsidian around and everything that's happening with that right now. So, I mean, it could be something like that along those lines. But that was earlier in the day. And now we move on to actually see, you know, you've got this other stuff about the stakeout that everyone went on. They all got these photos. And what BD was able to actually find out was Kyla arrived later to shoot a scene. And she actually did a scene with Sean Astin so that is really really interesting because he appeared you know briefly a few episodes ago obviously he's from Lord of the Rings that's where you know him from but you know he had a brief role mainly to do with Kelly and he played like this person from Kelly's past but it wasn't actually him it was John's brother who was pretending and like taking over in that sort of guise as Sean Astin playing him I guess I don't know playing someone from Kelly's past so I'm guessing that person you know returns I don't know how big of an impact he's gonna have but it's very curious to see that he was actually spotted on the set thanks to BD who found out and so yeah they filmed some of those scenes that was just a short scene with Kyla and Sean and then apparently later in the day Jesse came back did a scene by himself with the remaining ruins later into the night but let's move on to the final photo the final photo is again from BD on Twitter and this is a really nice photo you get to see the destruction of the DEO in the sort of wide view they've actually got like a whole shit ton of rubble here like they actually piled this stuff up like a lot so obviously that's a big cleanup job and a big job to set up so they obviously want to show the scale of the destruction obviously like you guys know i always have a problem with the show because they don't even like bother to cgi like breaks in the ground obviously they do like if there's like an explosion or like an earthquake but when there's rubble it's always just rubble on top of you know nothing basically so it never impacts the ground and that's always kind of annoying but that's just like a little pet peeve of mine for some of the cw shows because they don't bother to do that However, you can tell they're going full out with this and I really appreciate it that there is so much shit all over this DEO bit. And anyway, so you get to see the DEO agents protecting it. There's a sort of police barrier, there's some cars around, I'm guessing it's like SWAT cars for the DEO. And on the left behind the trees, obviously this is because she was a bit further away. 
you can see Supergirl and Nia right there looking at the destruction and so it's at a similar point to some of those other photos we talked about. But that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, please be sure to subscribe as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, we're about 100 subs off, let's do this, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.